Joining me now is Dr. Mark Thorpe, CEO of EnviroGold Global. Always great to see you, sir. Pleasure to be here. For sure. So let's pick up the story. Uh, we know that uh, you've got this technology whereby you're uh, turning mining waste uh, into critical and strategic metals. And um, you've done. You've got some pilot plant results. You said it gives you strong confidence in the technology. So can you elaborate on that? Yeah, we completed the pilot plant study on the Helio project at the ALS laboratory in Perth, which gave us some really good results. The results were exactly where we needed them on the recoveries. Um, what that allows us to do is then further develop that technology with Sedgman, our engineering partner, and uh, come up with some CapEx and OpEx. We've got to work hard on that, um, but we're expecting to be able to get some CapEx and OpEx for the Helia project. The nice thing about proving up the technology, it really applies to a lot of the other projects that we've managed to sign in the last few months. Such as uh, you have an MOU with Hindustan Zinc, maybe you can update us there, and then you sign a new one with uh, Luca Mining. And, and the other part of that question would be, uh, in terms of Luca, when do you expect the definitive agreement and to start testing? And then beyond that, uh, are you working on any other smelter or residues? Yeah, we've got uh, uh, the Hindustan Zinc testing went well. Um, unfortunately, Hindustan Zinc has decided not to produce the residue they wanted us to uh, to recover the metals from. So we're going to wrap up that project and move on to Luca Mining. Um, we're negotiating with the Luca Mining right now to get the definitive agreement, and we're hoping to start testing on that in Q1 of 2024. The best piece is that we also have a, a multinational smelting company that's very interested in our technology. We have their samples in the laboratory and we've started testing on those as well. And that's in addition to the other four projects that we brought in over the last several months. We've uh, joined the BHP Think and Act Differently uh, cohort and we are going to be starting testing on some tailings from uh, South32 and IGO and we're starting a little project with BHP themselves. And in addition to that, we've started uh, metal recovery testing on some nickel tailings and the provisional results for those are very, very good. And we're looking forward to uh, advancing the nickel recovery. So BHP, big major, super major, obviously. Uh, you said that, I believe in a Red Cloud webinar and elsewhere that uh, your team is working very hard to try to strike, strike partnerships with majors. You're, you're in discussion. So uh, any, any further updates on that? Sign the, the uh, BHP TAD agreements uh, actually this week. And uh, we're very pleased uh, with the approach. Um, we're actually partnering with some of the other groups within the cohort as well. So it's a very collaborative, uh, a, a collaborative group uh, led by BHP, uh, working with South32, and we're working with IGO as well. So can you give us a sense, Mark, and I think we're getting it there a little bit, of, of how your technology appears to be catching on and you're attracting a lot of interest? There's. There's several things that are of interest to the majors. One is obviously we've got this gap in the critical and strategic metals. And with the env Enviro technology, we can be quick to market because we don't have to develop a mine plan. We don't have to develop anything like that. So we can mine the tailings, process them, recover the strategic metals, which helps to, to fill that gap. In addition, um, it allows us also to reduce the volume and the environmental liability associated with the tailings, which when you've got a large tailing storage facility, that's a big bonus for you. Now, as far as um, uh, your technology and how you're, you're looking at it in terms of uh, eventually what the model looks like, you, you're, you're looking at a royalty model. You, you said your team is busy formulating a plan. Well, what might that look like ultimately? I know you haven't made any final decisions yet. Yeah, so we, we think that the royalty model is something that would be a benefit when you're dealing with these very large companies and they may or may not want EnviroGold working on their project site. Um, so what we're looking at is we're looking at uh, finalizing the project uh, design, uh, obviously working with the companies, um, then licensing the technology to them um, for a modest licensing fee up front, and then taking a metal royalty um, as the project is implemented and the Enviro technology is used. A very simple model. Um, it allows my team to focus on the bits that they're very good at, which is developing the technology specific for the tailings. And it allows us to then have a revenue stream that uh, 
that will go on for quite a long time for some of these bigger projects. And you like to remind investors we're a technology company, not a mining company. That's right. Yeah. And we are Enviro Gold, but we're not really a gold company. We are also looking at nickel, copper, zinc, lead, silver, and of course, gold. Any chance of uh, changing the name? Have you thought of that? Or? Um, <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those things where uh, I think uh, the, the name change will come. Um, we're known as EnviroGold. We're getting more and more to be Enviro uh, rather than EnviroGold. Right. And, and everybody's now knowing as Enviro and it's the Enviro process. So um, we'll, work, we'll work through that and uh, see how it goes. All right. And then, Mark, you said uh, you're expecting first cash flow sometime next year. Can you take us through that timeline? We've got to work through with, uh, with Helia and we're also working with one of the majors. Um, we're working through with Helia to see what they need to do in order to get the approvals that they need in order to uh, implement the project. So we'll be updating people uh, Q1 next year on how that uh, how that develops. And lastly, I don't need to tell you that it's a pretty tough market for a lot of the in the mining sector. And I know you don't consider yourself a mining company, but you do operate uh, in that sector. So what is your view of the market's perception of Enviro Gold stock right now? And do you think that uh, uh, that'll change in terms of uh, just generating more interest in the technology. I think where we are right now, people have seen us as, as they used to see us as Hellier Metals and the one project that the technology is working. However, with the interest of these larger mining companies in our technology and as we advance those projects, we think we'll see a more broad application uh, for what we need to do. and. We really believe that our ability to partially fill the gap in the critical and strategic metals that we need for the transition to a low carbon economy will in increase the interest in our stock. Well, it's fascinating for me uh, to interview you, I guess about a year ago for the first time ever to get to know the story and to see that all these milestones and accomplishments and think the story moving forward. So it's very exciting. It is very exciting. And thank you so much for having me today. All right. Thank you, sir. Good to see you. Dr. Mark Thorpe, CEO of Enviro Gold Global.